so these guys have a call like they're laughing and I can't really mimic it but ha 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 that's their call well good morning guys it's another beautiful day here in the rainforest last night it was a torrential downpour so we didn't do our night hike we just sat in the main building and drank beer and talked reptiles and somehow that was well just as good if not better than actually going out and looking for them but anyway today we're gonna do a couple of hikes and I want to walk the trail back up to the river and I don't know see if there's an anaconda hanging out but for now I need coffee <laughs> Every morning I sit right here in this chair and that's my view while I sip my coffee. All right, so I've got all the camera gear together and uh, we're heading out on the trail that leads down to the river. That's the trail that we came in. We're looking for two species of snakes in particular. We're looking for the anaconda, which is the world's biggest snake. And we're looking for the Bushmaster, which is the largest pit viper in the world. And yeah, I gotta say, yesterday I was feeling really under the weather. So I kind of took it easy, got a good night's sleep. I'm feeling just fantastic right now. I'm optimistic about what we're gonna find out here. <laughs> oh, dude, you have a cloud of mosquitoes following you. Yeah, that just means I'm walking too slow. That's insane. I bet you there's at least four or five thousand. In the reptile world, these are known as lepidaptolids. Now we're swarmed by mosquitoes, but he's a cool little frog. And so we made it to the river, and there's this really cool bridge right here. And uh, it goes over a, kind of a backwash of the river, so to speak. <laughs> and, uh, this is where the anacondas hang out. So we're gonna take our time here and, whoa, this is very slippery bridge. So we're gonna take our time here and see if we can see a little anaconda nose poking up out of the water. But we just met Mike and Marty here. They did the other side of the loop, but apparently they didn't find much. So what'd you guys see? Sun didn't come out, so Nada. Going to toadies. Going to toadies, huh? Yeah. Now we have to fight you to see who goes for a pass. You know, how we have a... Yeah. This is a very, <laughs> very narrow bridge. <laughs> and four big guys trying to yeah. cross it. I have a feeling that all four of us would go in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and only, only a, only a few of my cameras are waterproof, so... I know, I... That would not be good. I don't know much, but I know I'm not going in alone. So if you get me going, <laughs> I'm grabbing well, I'll go on. Down Domino effect. Going All right, <laughs> we're we're All we're right. passing here. So I might not be the last in. It's probably skinnier this way. Belly or back? <laughs> Backpack yeah. still bigger. So. Yeah. All, All right. right. The pass is successful. All right. See you guys back at camp.
Okay guys, it is so incredibly hot out here and it is so muggy that it's really hard to breathe and uh, so we're going to head back to camp and I'm going to take a nice long cold shower and the good thing about taking a shower at this camp as opposed to Madre Selva is that the water is not unfiltered and pumped up from the river right out of the shower spigots. Here, it's pumped right out of the pond, unfiltered into the shower spigots. All right, so just as I turned off the camera, somebody threw something at me from the canopy and I looked up and saw a bunch of monkey butts running <laughs> away from me. I don't see them now, but I'm walking down the trail and they threw some seed pod or something at me and then ran away and all I saw was a bunch of monkey butts running down the limbs of the trees, but they're gone now. I went and grabbed my camera to see if I could film them, but yeah, they, they just did a hit and run and ran away laughing. All right guys, check this out. This is a monkey frog. This is like one of the coolest frogs in the world. So these guys have a call like they're laughing can't really mimic it, but ha 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 ha. That's their call. Really, I didn't think I could do it, but apparently I can. What a cool frog. So I'm back at the main lodge and we just had lunch. I still haven't taken that shower. Mike and Matt beat me to the shower, so what I gotta do now is I gotta make a really tough decision because I just found out that I have burned through, well so far I've shot about 300 gigs of footage, which is a lot. And usually my rule is to back up that footage onto an external hard drive and then keep all the original footage on the SD cards themselves, but now I'm running out of SD card space, so I, either have to dump all the footage onto my computer's hard drive, which I'm not sure that I have enough space on my computer's hard drive, but I want several backups of this footage because if anything happens to it, well then you guys aren't obviously gonna be seeing this. So I've gotta sit here now in literally what is the most brutal heat and humidity I have ever felt anywhere. I mean, I'm a couple of ticks south of the equator right now, but this is a heat and humidity that is just brutal. Everything is sticky. I took my socks off after I took my rubber boots off and they squeaked. Socks shouldn't squeak when you take them off. So one of the things that I love about this place is the barter system. Yeah, money is good, but it doesn't do you any good if there's no shops to spend it in. So it's kind of worthless out here. So these girls just came in from one of the neighboring communities and I was in desperate need of getting my clothes washed. I'm really rank right now, but not having any clean clothes to change into just compounds that. So anyway, I'm gonna trade them some batteries or whatever it is that they need to do my laundry. So big time score. All right, so I've got all the files sorted and I've backed up all the SD cards uh, so that problem is taken care of. I'm finally going to get to take that shower, but I just went over to the uh, laundry and uh, apparently that nice lady that washed my clothes for me decided to keep a few pairs of my undies. Mm. Alright, best pond water shower I have ever had, and yes, reptiles love me so much they want to shower with me, and that's totally fine with me. But I am stupid, I forgot my shoes at the Tambo, and now I am walking through the mud barefoot after taking a shower. So every time I come to a place like this, I always say, I'm gonna come back one day, but then I stop and I think, well, there's Madagascar, South Africa, India, Malaysia, Galapagos. And if I'm gonna spend my budget on travel, 
I don't know when I'm going to be back here, to be honest. So I want to just sit and absorb and take as much in as I possibly can. <sighs> but I could sit right here on the patio of my tambo, looking over this little pond in the middle of the Peruvian rainforest for the rest of my life. But there's so much more of the world left to explore, and I'm going to do that. So anyway, guys. Today was a great day, great hike. I have no idea what's going on tomorrow. I'm sure tonight we will go out and do another night hike. But uh, until tomorrow, love the planet, keep your life in balance, and rattle on. <laughs>